I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Map Institute. In this video, we'll understand an interesting approach to factor. The question here is to factor x to the power of 4 plus x squared plus 1. Factor polynomials using different strategies. That is our focus. We have already used two methods to factor this particular polynomial. One, using completing squares. In part one, and then we apply difference of cubes. in part 2. Now, we are going to use geometric series. So, the completing the squares method solution is before you. And then we looked into the concept of difference of cubes and provided you with the solution. Perfect. You can watch those two videos for more details. And as I'm saying, now we are going to look into the solution using geometric series. After attending university, the winner of this year's Certificate of Achievement Shulik Leader Award is Akshi Kandivani. <laughs> Great. Our student, Akshi gets highest marks and the most prestigious Shulek Leader Award. You can be there, join our summer classes and get ready for bright. Isn't that interesting? Well, in case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Join my classes and learn effectively. Now, let's get back to the solution of this question using the third method. So, in part 3, we will use geometric series. To find the solution. Now, I hope you remember the sum of terms in geometric series. So, in general, if I have a series which is a plus a r plus a r square plus so on till a r to the power of n minus 1. So, there are n terms here, right? In that case, the sum of the series for n terms is a times r to the power of n minus 1 over r minus 1. Correct? Now, in the series which we are talking about, what do you notice? We are saying x to the power of 4. Let us rearrange it, right? So, let me rewrite this series as 1 plus x square plus x to the power of 4. In that case, you notice that the first term a is 1 and it is being multiplied each time by x squared. So, if I apply the formula for the given series, what will I get? Well, applying the formula, I get 1 times r being x squared and the number of terms n is 3. So, x squared to the power of 3 minus 1 divided by r, which is x square minus 1. You get the idea. And so, we can rewrite this as x to the power of 6 minus 1 over x square minus 1. Do you see that? So, that is the sum of the three terms given to us. So, we can say that these three terms 
is equal to x to the power of 6 minus 1 over x square minus 1. Correct? So, let me rewrite this. So, we have x to the power of 4 plus x square plus 1 equals to x to the power of 6 minus 1 over x square minus 1. And now, we can factor x to the power of 6 minus 1 and x square minus 1 to get our result. Perfect. You can pause the video and get the answer from this stage. Perfect. So, here we can use difference of squares x cube square minus 1 over x square minus 1, right? So, that gives you x cube plus 1 times x cube minus 1 and in the denominator, we get x plus 1 times x minus 1. Now, difference of cubes and sum of cubes can also be factored. So, we get the numerator as x plus 1 times x square minus x plus 1 and x cube minus 1 can be factored as x minus 1 times x square plus x plus 1. The denominator being x plus 1 times x minus 1. And now we can simplify this. x plus 1 cancels, x minus 1 fact cancels and we get the factors and our result which is x to the power of 4 plus x square plus 1 is equal to x square minus x plus 1 times x square plus x plus 1. Do you see that? So, that is the factored form of the given trinomial with degree 4. I hope you understand all these steps. So, the first method which we learned was completing the squares in which we added and subtracted x square. Right? So, once we added and subtracted x square, we could complete the squares and then factor as shown here, giving us the result. And then, we applied the method for difference of cubes, in which we also got the same expression, x to the power of 6 minus 1 over x square minus 1, which was simplified to give the result, just as we have done just now. Do you see how these different concepts which we have learned help in solving a question? So, the idea here is to apply the techniques learned to solve our problems in different ways. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write a comment, share your views. And if you like and subscribe my videos, that would be great. And in case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Thanks for your time and all the best.